and did not take place in the Near East, in some little place where they're looking for it now. It takes place in man. Man is where God is buried. The Holy Sepulchre is the skull of man. It's not in the Near East. The Bethlehem that they're talking about is in the skull of man. Zion, his holy place where he dwells, that's the skull of man. And the whole drama unfolds within man. And man awakens within himself to find himself completely sealed within his skull. And he comes out like a child being born out of his own skull. And then, a few months later, comes an explosion in his skull and that compartment that contained the Son of God, who is his will, who is his wisdom, releases the Son. You would not let my soul remain in hell, said he, in the 16th Psalm. So he brings him up, he resurrects his son, and the son is David. And David, looking at the father, and the father for the first time, knows who he is. Memory returns. And the father, the son was the one who revealed him to himself. So the whole drama unfolds within man, and the whole thing is contained within the skull of man. It has nothing to do with anything on the outside. They're looking in vain, all the archaeologists. And they bring back all this nonsense. I was on TV one night with one archaeologist, and then a Baptist minister and a Seventh Adventist minister. And here I, all these uh, groups around me, and this man brought a piece of cloth, and he said, this is taken from the tomb of Christ. Said, Are you kidding? No, he was sincere. He was very serious. He's an archaeologist. This is taken. Where, in some strange way, light has impressed upon it, this cloth, the image of Jesus. I said, you are an archaeologist. And he was brought there with the Seventh-day Adventist. And here's the other fellow. He is a Baptist. And I have no degrees. None of these things that these fellows have. I said to the archaeologist, tell me, do you look like that picture? He said, no, that's the picture of Christ. But don't you know scripture? It does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he appears, we shall be like him. And shall see him as he is. Do you look like him? You'll never see Christ. Then you see him in yourself. You are the Lord Jesus Christ. The Baptist then said, you're just taking from me 2,000 years of Christianity. I said, no, I can take it from you. I should. Because if it's true, I can't take it from you. And if I've taken it from you, well, then it's good I've taken it from you. He didn't like that. All this nonsense, this piece of cloth, mind you. Well, that's what our great writer said, Mark Twain. He went across Europe. And all as he traveled, they brought pieces of cloth. This was taken from his robe. And this the piece of wood, that was taken from his cross. He said, if you took all the wood together, they could build a huge house. And that was the cross he bore on his shoulder on the way to Golgotha. Take all the little pieces of cloth together, they could actually clothe an army. And people fall for it. Can you imagine that? They're looking at the holy cloth, a holy piece of wood. There is nothing outside of man. The whole drama takes place within man. It has nothing to do with anything outside. You're living in a world of shadows. And the drama is within. 